Hello and welcome to FIFA 15. We are Accrington Stanley and we have won the Premier League, so now we're just having fun. Today we're playing West Brom, who are in the middle of the table at number 11. We always seem to be playing West Brom. Yeah, I think we've played them a few times in the FA Cup as well, so yeah. They always, it's one of those teams that always seem to pop up. It's just like, them again? Anyway, let's get on. I still want to win the game, though. Welcome still want to, to win. EA Sports yeah. live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's Accrington Stanley against West Bromwich Albion. So, without further ado, let's head for the far northwest of England and Accrington. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Arsenal are not doing too well, are they? In the sixth six place. We've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yeah, that's Martin. Delighted to be here. He's after these occasions. Four games left. They'll be having fun, trying to get injured. So, fairly strong lineup. Number 32. We thought it was going to be great, but I don't know. Number 31 for us in, def in midfield now. He's good. He's looking good. Sebastian Prudel replaces Craig Dawson, who's looked vulnerable recently. Baron Fletcher comes in for James Morrison, who's disappointed recently. Saido Berahino is the main striker today. He's not been in good form at all, Alan, has he? But he's been picked to start today. Well, I did wonder about that, Martin, but the manager's kept his faith in him, and uh, we'll see if it works or not out there. I'll hail the champions here. And they've still got four games to go, and I'm sure the players will set themselves personal targets. Um, we'll see whether they switch yeah, off or gone. not. Yeah, I mean, it's party time, isn't it, really? They've got to be professional, but I'm not sure might have been out of the town the last couple of nights. He's on the bench. Uh, yeah. At this stage of his career, phasing himself out of the game at this level, has been the talk of retirement. Well, it has been taught, Martin, but he's still an important player within this squad, I think, for his leadership quality, so it's, it's a bonus okay. to have him back. Mark Hattenberg refereeing today. <laughs> the referee's got to manage this match. Oh, really? Give him a foul. I think it's quite a good thing to do. What was that? Oh, to us. Really? Why? Yeah, let's go. Have some fun. Long strike on target. What can we do here? Uh, and that will be a goal kick. I have the scored from a great achievement to free kick behind the mid -line, oh, mid line point. Bonus time, really, isn't it for him? Well, you do wonder. Uh, I mean, I think his attitude, Martin, is the most uh, admirable thing because he's just not slowed up. It's one of those freaky occasions you can score from the mid line point as long as the goalkeeper has a moment. Gross. Early in the cross, and everybody's charged into the box, and we've got nobody in midfield. And great. Really strong play in the tackle. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's true. He's on his way now. Got to be. Oh. And he does his job fantastically well. Well, he's got such stature. He doesn't believe he's going to get beaten in those one-on-ones, this keeper. And the opponents come in strongly. Nice. <laughs> I think I've broken someone. At White Hart Lane, there's been a red card. Alan McAnally. It's a red. Free kick. Ooh, what happened there? The Sake happened the off the ball. Albion. Out comes the yellow card from the referee. Many in this ground surprised about that. I think it was a foul. Didn't see it. What happened? Well, that's risky going in like that. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off. Okay, fair enough. I think he deserved it. It's a 
too far back to try and score a goal from here. Very simple. Well, coming here today, you sense that the home fans expect a victory because they've won the away game against this club they're facing today. It's never quite as simple as that, is it? Well, no, and uh, the losing side will have a point to prove because they really didn't turn up in that first game. Antonio, yes, yes, yes. Defenders are worried about Accrington Stanley in these positions. Here's the chance. Great goalkeeping. No doubt that's a corner. Great goalkeeping. We've got an injured player going off. I really should try to shoot from outside the box. Yeah, we've got an injured player. Can't continue. Golden, Golden, Golden. Oh my God, I haven't seen him for years. Jesus, didn't even know he's on the bench. That's cleared the danger, the header. Well, that isn't good. So my player is pretty good. It's rated 83. The rest of the squad are rated around 60 and lower. But the one thing he isn't good at is scoring outside the box because we haven't done that much. Uh, yeah, I, I, can, can, can you stop man marking everybody? Because I need to throw this ball at somebody. Thank you. Nope. Too much power. Regroup now and a goal kick. Ooh, Watford. Well, that should be a good game. They're a bunch of losers. I think Watford are going down. So they're going to be really depressed. Let's try and make it even worse for them. Yeah, I need to brush up on the skills for this player, my main player, to score outside the box. That's really what I should be doing. Not too far outside the box, of course. Let's hear from Alan McAnally. He's got a penalty to tell us about at Anfield. Oh, that's it's now. a penalty for Liverpool. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Oh, can you? Thank you. Here he comes. Steps up. Straight down oh, the middle. Me. Cool as you like. 32 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. In with the chance. Didn't get much time to see that. The goalkeeper. Good save. Corner. Pass might have been on. Maybe. I was waiting for him to get in a position. Crosses in. It's good work by the defensive player to stop that becoming a real menace to his team. Got to be. <laughs> and it's a corner now. Could have a bit closer. I think you should treat this like a training match, shouldn't I? Still have some fun, have some entertaining football, get those goals. He says. Ah, uh, come on. What defenders do head the ball away like that. Ooh, well, might be a bit again, naughty. Lattenberg. Might get yellow card for that. No? Okay. Rash Allen, reckless. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. A nasty jab on his ankle there. Oh, it's supposed to be haven't actually scored yet, have we? One of those guys you think he scored. And the player working hard to stay in possession. Again, again. That's very Ooh. well read. And that's a very good that's interception. Lucky. That was lucky. Let's really should get the goal. Let's get the goal, shall we? Move. Chance for it. Got to be. It's not a decisive Maybe save. Not. Well, that is half time. Yeah, time, the score man. is nil nil here. They played really well, uh, one of the sides here, but they've got no reward for it. No, all eyes on the strikers because the rest of the team has done their job in terms of creating chances, just can't take them. So we've reached half-time and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the game.
We've had loads of shots on the target, for God's sake, the bloody goalkeeper here keeps getting in the way. So annoying. I have to write to my MP or Member of Parliament to actually um, complain about that. Rewrites rules of football so the goalkeepers can get out of the way. Can you imagine playing football with no goalkeepers? <laughs> it's insane. Target. We have been forcing the goalkeeper to parry him away and has not been like half hearted efforts. Yeah, lucky to get a yellow card actually. It's going crashed. Am I still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Five minutes to go. Go, go get it. Start the second half. Okay, let's go, dude. Ah, the challenge well. Nowhere to go. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come on, somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Ah, oh, no. Bollocks are going away. There's, there's nobody, there's nobody, there's nobody here. There's nobody in mid. at Chelsea that we need to know about. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by okay. Oscar. No defender could get near him as he jinked his way into the box and hit the target. 51 minutes played. 3-1. Thank you very much, Alan. The thing I noticed about this team is that midfield seems to be completely empty sometimes. We are attacking, everybody goes up, and defence stays back, and there's just like acres of space in midfield. Very, nice. very well worked corner, but they've missed the target at the end of it. Yeah, maybe that's a chance burned. They should have done better from that angle. It must be leaned on. So. Got the football. I got the Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. And they're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible. The home team. Terrific tackle. Well, they're in a good position what here. Do, what can we do? What can we do? Dangerous moment. Here's the chance. Got Fine save the from the keeper to keep the match scoreless. And the header there has gone straight to his teammate. They kept the move going well. Get it That's a very crisp challenge there. Gross. He's down. <laughs> it's good to get your leg off of that. Oh no, maybe not. Keepers kept it at nil nil. Well down to the goalkeeper. Just slip the right player, please. Thank you. Oh. Able to stay on his feet well. Yes! It's gone in, off the goalkeeper. <laughs> Beautiful. Nicely worked. I do say so myself. A very special goalkeeper, Alan. Well, he's been brilliant today. He could have been man of the match. He, he might still be, but uh, he needs to ask some questions of his defenders. Crunch. Coming up another look at it, Alan. That will show us something. Well deserved goal, you pay for it with uh, a few bruise, bruises or maybe a scratch or two. He's turning out to be a good player this guy. Yeah. I feel he's got a good career ahead of him. Mm. Yeah, 
continues come off coverage from the Barclays Premier League, the fixture. West Bromwich Albion, got yellow card. Everton. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. James. Oh, okay. now. James Morrison. Jim Morrison. West Bromwich Albion running out of time. I think this is going to be kitchen sink time, Martin. Now plenty of long balls into the box, trying to get on those knockdowns. Possession oh, too changes slow. feet. Too slow. We'll see with these possession stats, Alan. That yes, the, uh, the game has been as easy as it seemed without the figures to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think we thought coming into this match, Martin, that it would be. Evenly matched. It's been the legs. I don't mind being soft now. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. He hasn't used the boy at Wonder. That's good. Save Martin. his legs for the Champions League he's final. Hopefully, forward yeah. with some Can danger. Somebody, please. He's got a chance to cross. Tyson, great header, great save. Good time. Yes, amazing. Can they hold Jeez. on here? The fans are doing their best to give them the support. The opposition are doing their best to ruin the day. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the natural instinct is to drop back and try and defend what you've got. It might be a costly method, that. Still 1-0 here. With the time. This could be a chance. He's in here. Not to be. Oh, he's off to Get the angle. Damn it. <laughs> Well, as a forward, you're just looking maybe for that one moment that gets you in the headlines. Uh, he hasn't had a moment and really hasn't looked like uh, getting involved in one, so it's a substitution now. Yeah, and as the match went on, his morale seemed to dip. His shoulders slumped, so no surprise, he's got hooked here. Yeah, get it on, yeah. Both teams will still fancy they've got a chance of winning this game, but time is ticking that. away. We can do it, we can do it. And he's simply making a run. Oh, you fucking you make a run, you asshole. So it's just frustrating when stupid players do stupid things. Four added minutes. One more opportunity to get an equaliser. Gets his foot in there. Get over the bit. Thank you, boy. Out of boy. Let's be wiped out. Oh, oh, I like this kind of referee. Yeah, Play the advantage. Go back and punish the offender. And, uh, that's 90th minute yellow, yellow card. You see, it happened too often where the referee blows oh, we straight get away replay. and he doesn't. Really? Advantage be played, but uh, not this time with this fella. He did well. Gross. Very good. Oh, Stu, man. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Thanks for coming, everyone. Magnificent work at the back. The uh, attackers did their job to win the game, but the result was saved and protected by defending of the highest class. Yeah, and I think sometimes uh, we see defending as a dying art because. Uh, it's not what it was, you might say, but out there today, it was uh, it was absolutely wonderful. So it's it full time a with a final score <laughs> one 0 I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. In the bar is close. We've <laughs> got the job done, but yeah. Yeah, so it's a nice tackle to win in, I suppose. Punching the board up is not exactly the safe thing to do. Easy to do that. 
they did have a try and goal, didn't they? Yeah. We had a couple of try and goal. Adiós.